Let's take a look at buying the dip when it comes to trading options. Uh, you might have had a stock that's run away and moved quite a bit and uh, maybe it's jumped up and it kind of looks like it's to the moon. So you could try to buy the dip in this case or when it comes down. Or on the other hand, a stock has sold off and now you're trying to buy it at a lower price. So I'll show you some concepts here in this video for some um, buying the dip concepts or trying to buy a stock um, as it heads lower. So we're going to start out with, I'm going to take a look at uh, Walmart here. Because if we look at Walmart and what's going on with Walmart today, uh, it's actually not doing so well. Uh, this stock is down about uh, 7% or about $12. So this would be a nice strategy to do on a stock that has uh, pushed lower because what we're aiming to do is right now the stock's at 157. We'll try to get it around maybe 150 or 155 instead of 157. And that gives you even a little bit more, uh, more range. So you got the stock at, let's say in the past, if you would have gotten it, it would have been 169. But instead of paying 169, now you could get at 157. But what if you could even get it at 150? So if you like the stock at 157, you probably also like it at 150. Now, the other way to do this is take a look at something like Target. Uh, Target is also one that has um, recently uh, done something uh, movement in price, but this one actually went up. And now you say, oh crap, I missed the move. And if you miss the move, you're trying to get that stock maybe back at the 110, 115, 120 level. So either one of these concepts, uh, that we'll talk about will work for this um, for this premise, whether the stock's a little high or a little uh, little low. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do this on Walmart. The first thing that we want to do is we're going to start out with um, looking at uh, selling a cash secured put. So this is our idea one. And when we do a cash secured put, what we're trying to do is we're selling premium at a lower price to acquire that stock at a uh, below where it's currently traded at. So if the stock's right now at 157, we'd like to get it at 155 or a 150. And by waiting, if it doesn't get there, we collect some form of money for basically waiting and tying up our uh, commitment or agreement. So Walmart right now is trading at 157.07. I can go, well, let's just go to 22 days out and we can sell a this option right here and collect about 50 bucks for waiting um, so by doing this we get sell one contract on the walmart december 8th 150 it's a put and then we sell it for 52 cents so what that allows us to do is um, go in and uh, we will send that in and now we will have that position after it gets filled. So the point of this is we're trying to buy that stock low and really buy it even lower than where we're currently at. Uh, but we do have to take that position if the stock does continue to move lower to 150. However, if it just pulls back to 155, um, we won't get a sign. We won't get the stock. If it pulls back to 152, uh, the value of this option might change, but at the end of it, we collect the $52. Now, if it gets to, let's say 149, I have to take that stock at 150. So that's the thing with the cash secured put is you got to have enough cash to be able to take that stock, uh, if it continues to move lower and, um, you get a sign. Okay. Idea number two that I want to share with you is we're looking at selling an out of the money vertical spread. Uh, you could do this about 30 days out. You could do it shorter duration as well, but it won't give you as much range. So let's pull this concept on um, target uh, and we'll do a vertical on target because this stock is already a little bit at at a higher point. Now, one of the reasons we may want to do a vertical is because it reduces capital and the amount of capital that you have to put up. If you do a cash secured put, you have to actually take, um, let's say the $128 you pay per share of the stock times 100 shares, uh, you have to put up um, $12,800. Now, if I do a vertical, I could still have some exposure. I'm going to go to 36 days out. We'll go to the put side and I can just right click and sell and go to vertical. Now for you more advanced folks, you can hold the control key, click this, and then um, go to the other one while I have a zoomed in version and uh, go in and um, hold the control key and click the other one. So we got the control key, click this, hold the control, and click that and we've got our vertical constructed. Now this one here on target, and I already have a vertical on this actually, you can see what it's doing. 
actually, I just have some puts sold. Um, and what, what a vertical is doing is it caps your max loss, in this case, at $166. So I don't have to put up a lot of capital, but it allows me to still put a long directional bet on the stock if it continues to uh, head higher. Now, if it pulls back, I do get a kind of a, a same point of a loss, similar to selling a, a single put or cash secured put. But what this does is reduce my capital that if the stock tanks to like 113, I don't lose as much. So could you do like five contracts of this? Sure, you could. And then you risk a little more. Now, keep in mind, just because you're risking um, less here than a cash secured put, remember, you're a little bit more leveraged up. Uh, you've got five contracts. And if this falls kind of in the middle, you still get 500 shares assigned. Now, you could get out of this early and it doesn't cost you as much. But the point being is uh, you're still taking a directional bet to where if the stock tanks, you still have some room or range. So I'll go ahead and put this in right here and uh, we'll go in and uh, take that area. Now, remember, don't over leverage on these things. You do want to make sure you're trading small. Um, otherwise, it can create a little bit of a problem. Uh, so those are kind of the first two uh, big strategies. Uh, the third strategy I'll give you is buying an at the money vertical to predefine your risk. Now, we've already got a a um a target position that's coming in we've got a walmart one as well i'm going to do this on walmart um where instead of doing a vertical on walmart because you're risking a little more or a put what we can actually do is buy a vertical and i might choose to buy it 64 days out why a little bit longer the reason i might go a little longer is because when you go with a shorter duration you don't have time to work in your favor now this is the first day this stock is down it could keep moving down for another week and then later, um, it could reverse. It can even move down for a couple of weeks and then it could turn around. So I might need some time for it to go down and then go back up. So this is where I might get something like an at the money, which is the 155, because the current price is right around 157. I can right click there and buy a vertical. So what I'm doing is um, buying the 155, but I'm selling the 160. So I'm assuming it's gonna go higher, but by selling the 160, if I buy the 155, okay, and selling the 160, I get this about $280 back out of the 555. So it only costs me about $2.80 or $280. So that vertical becomes a lot cheaper. Now, unfortunately, if this goes to the moon, like 180, 190, 200, uh, I don't make as much money. But the good news is I also don't risk a lot. So the most I can lose is about 280 because that's the amount paid right there, 280, 281. And the most I'll make is around 219. So it's about a one to one risk to reward, which is very nice and convenient for a lot of people starting out rather than risking 10,000 to maybe make $100. So um, it's a really nice uh, strategy and concept here. We'll go ahead, we'll put it into that position there and um, you're off to the races. So those are kind of the three main strategies I would take a look at if you're looking to buy on dips or buying on stocks that are running away. Um, I think they're the kind of uh, nice positions to deal with and, and do. And uh, there's there's quite a lot of uh, potential with them. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. There's a lot of coaching things that I do with folks. I um, always appreciate all the comments you guys send in. So thank you so much. Feel free to post comments there on YouTube or check out our website. There's going to be a lot of uh, links in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. When you're ready, hit play on the next video. Continue watching. Check out some of the playlists. Check out some YouTube stuff. And be sure to visit our website because there's a lot of other great freebies, free trainings. Uh, mini courses and PDFs that you can download for cheat sheets if you're trading already. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care.